everybody, it's Tyler here at Vex Worlds, checking out Middle School Team 78181A. Genesis coming out of Taiwan. This team has had a phenomenal run so far. Triple crown at Taiwan Nationals as well, too. So congratulations on all your success for that as well. We're going to take a look at their awesome robot they have here. This is a top tier robot. You can just tell by looking at this right here, their strategy they're going through. Fantastic bowling strategy they've been implementing here as well, too. A lot of great things to go into this robot we'll be mentioning as well, too. Anything from their bands to their wedges, how they're looking at doing their tri ball stealing and prevention as well, too. It's been working out really well for this team. We'll be going through their mechanical eyes uh, hang and a lot of their great stuff from just the plastic pieces and how they're saving way to more. So let's learn more about them coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Winston, I think one of the really cool things to your robot here is you have this kickstand underneath your robot. So let's show off how that works, what it is, and then I'll talk about your hang as well. Yeah, so at the beginning of the matches, uh, this, this kickstand right here basically just props up the robot so that almost like half the robot can hang over the line. And what this does is it, it allows us to get like a head start to the middle tri balls. And then, so once it's put down, and then as soon as the drivetrain moves forward, it over centers the uh, kickstand, allowing the robot to drop forward and rush to the middle tri balls. I gotta ask you, I don't think I've talked to any other uh, VEX team, regardless of what level, that is doing something like that. Have you seen any other teams use that? Uh, we've seen a couple high school teams use the kickstand for rushes. That's really cool. Has it been working out well for you so far? Yeah. Very cool. Let's talk about this uh, hang as well. We were talking earlier, running a C tier uh, hang for it, so show off how that works. Yeah, so. Um, as the uh, hang meta has evolved, we've seen more like uh, fast piston Cs and uh, G tiers. And we decided to go with a motorized double C since in middle school, we prioritize uh, being more versatile with our teammates, which is why we went with a double C. And basically we just have the classic hang on the horizontal bar and the vertical bar, which we can set to two settings using the, uh, the uh, rotation sensor over here. So I didn't hear it before that it's double C. That's really cool. So you're actually kind of flipping up a little bit then, I would assume? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Um, really cool. How long does it take you to typically get that uh, hang that you have? The horizontal bar is usually about like, yeah, 1.5 seconds-ish once we get onto the bar. And then the vertical pull is about, uh, once it's clipped on, it's about like two to three seconds. Awesome. Well, congrats on that success so far. Let's pass over to Ryan and talk more about your intake uh, they have as well, too. A lot of cool things on this, uh, running from your bands to this little wedge uh, they have here as well. What do you want to cover? Um, so for our intake, we have this rubber band that um, goes from one end of the intake to another. So the purpose of this rubber band is so uh, when we have the tribal and intake in within our intake, it kind of holds onto our tribal. So when we cross the barrier or somebody lifts our intake up, our tribal doesn't fall out and nobody can steal it. And as for our um, front of the intake, we have this um, plastic shield. So the point of this plastic shield in the front of the intake is so that when our like opponents come and ram us, the intake will slide up and we can steal the tribal from inside their um, intake. So I love the thought process on that strategy. That's something that we're starting to see really at the top meta of this game so far is, you know, both not only preventing stealing, but also starting to steal from other teams as well too. I think it's a really cool thing. So congrats yeah. on all the thought process on that. Alex, let's talk about, I noticed here a lot of different plastic pieces on here, saving weight, great for your structure as well. Let's break it down. So we actually use Onshape uh, computer aided software to design all of our plastic pieces. As you can see here, there's a lot of precise cuts and we can use like, uh, create triangle bracing with these. And while we can keep these uh, parts structured, we can also maintain um, a lot of lightweight, make it our bot lightweight. And our bot is currently uh, currently sitting at 13 pounds, which is pretty light for a bot with a motorized hang. Yeah, absolutely it is. Uh, Nixon, gotta ask you, I noticed on your intake, I forgot to mention the trap door that you have on that too. So talk to me more about that. Yeah, so uh, most, most teams have a vertical tra trap door right here, but the problem is we don't really have space for it because our hang blocks it here. So 
Uh, instead, we did a horizontal trapdoor, which we are one of the first teams to do it. Uh, this works really well. It's still one way, and it's not that heavy compared to a uh, vertical trapdoor too. So, yeah. And so for bowling, we can easily uh, place these tri balls here and outtake them. And this uh, guarantees efficient scoring. When did you add that onto your robot? We added it on like about two weeks ago. Yeah. Very cool. So one of the things that uh, we mentioned earlier, so your team triple crowned at Taiwan National as well too, and you got to have a great uh, shooter to do that as well too. So Janet, talk to me more about uh, what your uh, shooter is, how you're doing the hot swapping for that, because we know during matches, you're not implementing that as much. We still had a good skills performance here too. Tell us more about it. Yeah, so you can see from our base that we have a six motor base. And as well as the intake motor over here and the hang motor over here. However, during skills, we actually put on our kicker. So we put it on through the four standoffs over here. And then we take the hang motor that you can see over here and put it onto our kicker. So then in doing so, we can actually have a match loading mechanism during skills, allowing us a higher score in skills. However, during matches, we still keep the hang motor on and allowing us to have the hang mechanism during matches too. So that allows for two different functions within the same robot. Usually we got to talk about on here, I noticed a lot of uh, weight saving methodologies that we talked about here. And one of them are the screws that you're using as well too. So walk me through what you're using. Yeah, so over here we have some um, aluminum screws and aluminum nuts. So these help us save space as well as the uh, plastic standoffs here. We also use a lot of plastic um, screws all around our robot to help us save weight. So like Alex said earlier, our robot is 13 pounds, which allows us to play and drive really fast. And it's really lightweight overall, which helps us definitely. This is such a complete robot mechanic. There's so many great things that go into this, but we do have to talk about some of the software that's gone to your robot as well too. So Nixon, talk to me about your uh, debug menu that you're running. And then I noticed you have an Anton selector as well too. I'd love to hear more about that. So, uh Firstly, we have a our brain screen, we have a, a field, over-under field, and we also have a debug menu. Here, this is the inertial angle, so at the start of the match, we can tell if the inertial is drifting. If it is, we just go into devices and calibrate that. And for other stuff, we press the brain screen, and we can see the temperature of each motor if they're overheated. And moving on to our auton selector, instead of a potentiometer, we use the limit switch because for a potentiometer, if we accidentally nudge it, it'll uh, switch to another auton, and uh, it's not good for falls. And limit switch, it's pretty hard to accidentally click it like that. Yeah. Can you run me through, is there any autonomous modes that you added here for the World Championship at Vex Worlds? Yeah, so for the offensive auton, we have three. First is the rush six ball with the kickstand. Uh, rushes for the middle try ball and scores the other five. And we have the safe six ball, which we uh, almost never run because we have the five ball. The five ball scores the alliance try ball and the goal first, and then it also guarantees us a, a high AP. And for our close auton, we also have a E-Limbs uh, try ball steal auton, which we also use a kickstand for. And um, the normal auton, which is which guarantees us the AWP every single round. Yeah, absolutely love the kickstand. I love everything that's gone into this robot. So Genesis coming in from Taiwan, congratulations on a phenomenal season so far. Looking really good here in your division. So we wish you best of luck and thanks for telling us more about this incredible machine. Can't wait to see how you do, thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.